what climate change solutions that humanity already has will work best here in Georgia? What would it take for the state of Georgia to achieve drawdown, to become a state that sequesters more carbon than it emits? That's the long-term goal of Drawdown Georgia. There's one thing that I've come to realize from all of this. It's that climate change solutions really are so right and so smart for the state of Georgia. And that's true regardless of what it is that any individual person cares about when it comes to scaling climate solutions here in our state. As you'll see from the research team in just a moment, if what you care about is carbon emissions, well, then Georgia is absolutely ready to lead on climate. But if what you care about is financial savings over the next decade, once again, Georgia is ready to lead on climate. Perhaps you come to this work with a concern for equity and social justice. The data and the research shows Georgia is ready to lead on climate to help and solve those challenges. Perhaps what you care about is job creation. Once again, Georgia is ready to lead. Perhaps what you care about is our natural environment. The blessings of this state are tremendous from the mountains down to the coast. If you want to preserve those lands and the wildlife that lives in them, Georgia is ready to lead on climate. Or perhaps, especially in this era of a pandemic that has rocked social fabrics and caused us to change the way that we fundamentally live our lives. If what you care about is public health, Georgia is ready to lead on climate. And this amazing team will be walking us through why the data shows that we can solve so many problems, not just our warming planet, by making Georgia that leader on climate. From our perspective, it starts with a realization that climate change is uh, just presents very serious risks to Georgia and of course the rest of the world. And the flip side is that if we're clear eyed about those risks, uh, that if we tackle them head on, there are real opportunities to be found to both minimize the cost of a changing climate, but also really seize the opportunities that John spoke to with respect to economic development and equity and public health and environmental protection. To avoid the worst uh, that climate change could deliver, our project aligns with the time frame of the Paris Accord, that is to limit global warming to no more than 1.5 degrees centigrade above industrial um, levels, pre-industrial levels. So for those of you who can't instantly convert from uh, centigrade to Fahrenheit, that's 2.7 degrees F. So to achieve that goal, global emissions need to be cut by more than a third by the year 2030 and then proceed to zero by mid-century. This is the performance goal that we've set for the Drawdown Georgia Research Program. The problem is that there is no standard blueprint for action at the state and local level. There's no playbook that you can pick up and, and simply apply. There are global and national studies, there are various state and local studies, but um, then they provide thoughtful points of departure but they all must be tailored to meet the needs, the resources, the priorities, the preferences of specific states and localities. So the Drawdown Georgia project has set out to fill that gap by showing how the state of Georgia and other states subsequently can systematically select solutions to cut their carbon emissions in ways that are beneficial and equitable. One thing we like about the project Drawdown approach is that it not only considered traditional science and technology solutions like uh, engineering and retrofitting and driving more efficient cars, it also extended its focus to include untraditional opportunities like educating women and girls, composting, and eating plant-rich diets. Daughter in Georgia is the first significant attempt to try to translate these 100 uh, solutions into a set specific to the state of Georgia, or in fact, the first time it's being translated into a state level action plan. Our time frame is a little bit different, diverges a bit from Project Drawdown, which looked at mid-century goals, 
we're focusing on 2030 because of the recent evidence that time is of the essence. What I like about this list is that many of these solutions are um, available to citizens of Georgia. You can compost, you can recycle, you can um, put solar on your rooftop. So this is a very democratic list. I also like the fact that it does call for business engagement. The cogeneration uh, solution, for instance, is a way to generate electricity from waste heat at industrial facilities, such as pulp and paper mills or um, food processing plants and chemical plants. There, you've got to have business on board. And then last, of course, the role of government. And in at least one of the cases, it's a principal investor, and that is mass transit. So we have all variety of uh, combinations of stakeholders engaged in these 20 solutions. This is very much just the beginning. This week represents that. All of these solutions go out to 2030, uh, which means the clock is ticking. We have nine years and a few months to try to implement as many of these at scale as possible. And if we do, or when we do, will have made a big dent in Georgia's carbon footprint. We won't be at zero yet though, and that's the goal is to get to net zero as soon as possible. And this is hopefully gives us some very tangible concrete things to do. More broadly, the Drawdown Georgia movement wants to hear from you uh, when we think about solution activation. That is something that the Anderson Foundation and others have stressed time and again uh, is going to be owned by all of Georgia and folks who care about this issue beyond. So please get involved, go to drawdownga.org. There are several ways to sign up for mailing lists, to get involved in a crowd solving app called Groupit. Uh, this is no longer uh, just a sort of crunching the numbers exercise. This is now an exercise of activating all these solutions. And that goes way beyond any of the folks you heard from today, even though we are all committed to being involved. Um, and the final point is uh, we do hope that beyond Georgia, um, this is hopefully useful for folks. We saw oh, great to see folks joining us from Connecticut and the West Coast and Pakistan. Um, we hope that what we're doing can be useful, but likewise, we really want to learn from you. So if other states and other countries are doing work that is relevant and related, we want to have that conversation.